I mean, first of all, they're more supple. Uh, you feel it immediately. Uh, you give it, you can immediately within hours feel the difference on the horse's uh, ability to use themselves. And through that, that they're more supple, they're also more relaxed in their whole bodies and in their mind. So their stress level is holding them down a little bit more so that it's not going to be so exciting sometimes when they have to do the higher performances. Um, the equity just, like I said, makes them nice and uh, supple to the whole body and I really think it's a super product. I'm riding for Canada and live in Montreal and I've represented Canada in numerous places and times and events. I was in the Olympics, I was four times representing Canada in the World Cup Finals uh, where the 15 best horses in the world are going with two different horses. I have won a silver medal for the Canon Games and I have multiplied uh, winnings of the Royal Winter Fair and many, many like, accomplishments with different horses. This is Renaissance Time, one of my favorite horses and I think it's one of the best one I've ever owned. I have uh, shown him in World Cup uh, classes here in Wellington, which we were in the top 8 or top 10, which I'm very excited about it since it was a very tough year with a very high level of Grand Prix riders here. And my goal is to get to the World Cup final maybe the following year, and this year I'm just trying to improve my Grand Prix. right now because we are in the midst of the show season so the horses don't have much downtime um, because the shows are starting here in Wellington already on Tuesday and we most likely finish on Friday or Saturday so these horses don't have much time off so during the times when we finish on Friday's evening I'm gonna most likely give him that light work uh, Saturday and Sunday or a half time and then pick him up again on Monday for the next uh, show to come because it's really difficult because the weeks are so long, they have too many horses here I would say, and that will, it's a bit complicated for them to get a really downtime here in, in Wellington. At home it is different, at home they work like four days a week and then they have five, six, seven days, uh, like the third day, the four days, uh, three days off in between which they do light work only, and four days of intensive work. because the hay is getting imported and we more likely try to get hay from Canada <laughs> which I, I find is an excellent hay and, um, and for sure the grain, we're taking grain which has no, not much sugar in it at all and uh, then supplements for sure and one of my favorite supplements is Equinity and I use it a lot and up it also for traveling and when big show season is I give it a little bit more because it renews their cells very quickly and it shows very easily when they run down on it and uh, so Equinity can pick them up again and you will feel their muscle tones and everything is getting better. And since we this year already won now uh, the uh, best uh, award for our horses that they are just uh, in top conditions. We got the award for it uh, for the whole barn here, so I'm very excited about it. And I can count on it as a quality. I mean, to, 
get to Wellington for sure is the ultimate. I mean, it's a very expensive event, but you can keep the price down when you go further down in Loxahatchee. I think that's what I would start off when I would be a young rider getting into this and have a budget. Um, but definitely it is a must to come here because to get really competitive, there is top international riders from Europe here and it is an eye-opener for most of the kids that, uh, you know, uh, how extremely precise they ride and how on they are and they, they ride the same test over and over again. And I think my advice is definitely try to come and get onto the train here and start riding internationally and compete with the real best.